There's no snow. It's 41 degrees. And I was out in the um, uh, backyard and cleaning up landmines like usual. <laughs> and I noticed buds. There are buds on the trees. So that means spring is coming. Leaves will be back on the trees. The grass will be green. I'm so happy. <laughs> so happy. I saw a blue jay. Now, I know they don't leave, but the birds are coming out. They're singing. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm so happy for uh, some warmer weather and praying no snow because we could still get snow. We get snow in March. <laughs> I think we had snow in April one time. I can't remember, but I think we did. So yeah, um, it's supposed to be dry pretty much this week. The boys are enjoying being outside. It's just beautiful. So I'm on my way to check my P.O. box and um, I thought I would say that I got a horrible comment today on one of my grooming videos that basically said, my dogs do not look like schnauzers because they're, I cut their hair too short. What's the point of having a schnauzer if I'm gonna cut their hair so short? Yeah, so I deleted it. I posted it on my Facebook page because I just could not believe the comment. Just so rude. If you don't like schnauzer's hair cut short, then move on. I, I totally tell everyone in all my grooming videos, I'm not a professional. I'm just sharing how I groom my boys and how I like them to be cut. Um, yeah, so that was a terrible comment. That's what I woke up to this morning because I always scroll through the comments when I wake up before I get out of bed. But you know what? I'm moving on. I don't care what they think because I love my boys and I love their hair the way I cut it. <laughs> and if you don't, you don't have to cut it that way. I mean, geesh, there are so many options. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to go check my P.O. box and um, I'll let you know how grooming went in my new grooming area when I get home. Okay, checked my P.O. box, nothing in there, but now I'm on my way to Big Lots and I was just sitting here thinking, I told you guys it's 41 degrees out and some of you are probably thinking that's freezing. <laughs> well, here, I'll tell you right now, I don't have a coat on, I don't have gloves on. 41 degrees and sunshine here it feels wonderful and I don't know my husband always says it's because our blood is thicker in the winter here us Michiganders people who live up north in the states that experience cold our blood is thicker I don't know is that true I should google that because I don't know um and because our blood is so thick that we get we get hot easier is that true is he lying to me <laughs> anyways um yeah, so I was thinking, some people probably think 41 degrees, that's not warm. And I wonder, too, if the dogs feel that way like we do. Like when it gets uh, just a tad bit warm, warmer when it's been like under 20, you know. Um, I wonder if the dogs can feel that, too. Because they've been wanting to stay outside a long time. And it's only 41 degrees. <laughs> so, yeah. So, is that true about our blood? I don't know. He's probably just pulling my leg. I don't know. Anyways, on my way to Big Lots now, I'm just going to let you guys also know before my battery dies, I see it flashing. I saw some pork chomps at Big Lots for $5.50, bags of their twists. So, if you have a Big Lots near you, that's pretty cheap, because where I was buying them, they were like $16 a bag. So, if you got a Big Lots by you, check it out. Because they'll sometimes have the good dog treats in here um, for a cheap price. So... Going into Big Lots and just look around, you know, something to do. Not not looking for anything in particular. Well, I, I kind of am. I'm looking for something by my front door because I moved the picture of the boys into my grooming area. I'm looking for something to hang the car keys on. So, going into Big Lots. This head over there. <laughs> There's a kitty. You see him? There's a kitty walking across the street. And the boys are having a fit. He's going on the neighbor's porch. He lives right next door. Looks like he's going on the neighbor's porch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but everybody's in the window. 
Yep. <laughs> that bad kitty. That bad kitty. How dare he? How dare he roam around outside and you can't chase him? <laughs> That's Mickey making those noises. <laughs> These dogs are so silly. Okay, guys, so I'm home. I found my keys sign. Well, a thing to hold the keys. Let's see if I can get better lighting. I took down, I had the picture of the boys here um, with them peeking through the fence, my favorite picture, and put it in my new grooming area. I still want to get a picture or print a picture to put right here, but yeah. So they're done barking at the kitty, and uh, I was going to, oh, I also wanted to show you here. Now, do these dogs look like schnauzers? I don't know if you can tell. They're so short. They're cut so short, I don't know. I don't know if you can tell they're schnauzers or not. <laughs> I just thought that comment was just silly. It was just so silly. Now, Magnum, I did have an issue with Magnum. Magnum barely has any eyebrows because, remember in my video, I thought it was going to be great that I could groom them upstairs um, because these guys could just run around and not have to be put in their crates. Well, so it's not, that may not work next time because while well, I was grooming Magnum, the boys went nuts in the window and Magnum jerked and I cut half his eyebrow off. <laughs> So, yes, you came up here so you could show them because you're mad at me. You're saying, look what she did to my eyebrows. <laughs> he barely has any eyebrows. And it was my fault. I wasn't holding on to him good when I was cutting them because I'm not used to it because I usually don't have that happen where a bunch of dogs start barking. And he's a little squirmy anyways, and he just jerked his head. And this side here, see how there's like no eyebrow right here? <laughs> Yeah, so I had to cut him down really short. I mean, he still has a little bit here on the top. But, oh well, they'll grow back, Magnum. They'll grow back. Your hair grows fast, yes. <laughs> Their beards are already crazy. I just got done grooming them. Yeah, so he barely has any eyebrows. I mean, I keep my boys' eyebrows short anyways because I don't like them long in their eyes. Here, I'll show you Max's. Max is posing. Max is posing. So I keep them short anyways, but his, oh, they look horrible. And some, uh, someone mentioned on, I think it was Susan, mentioned on my Facebook page, uh, it didn't look like he had any eyebrows. Well, he barely does. <laughs> so you noticed right. So, but you're still cute, Magnum. Hey. Hey, buddy. You're still cute. Yes, you are. Yes. So, yeah. So my grooming, wor grooming room worked out great. And I've got a couple, I got a bed in here. You guys can see that. It's a blow up bed and this is a great bed. It's by Intex and this thing doesn't lose air. It's comfortable. But I have a bed in here because um, if, you, if you watch my videos, you know, I've been complaining of my legs and soreness at night and I was just restless all the time waking my husband up. So I have this in here for me to sleep on right now until I can figure out how to get this fixed to where I'm not moving around so much at night and restless. So I'm not interrupting his sleep because he needs his sleep to run his business and function during the day. <laughs> um, so I hung up some stuff in here. I hung up um, these hooks here for my aprons and I hung, uh, this picture was out by the front door and I hung up my calendar that was in my bedroom. Um, these, this is my dryer. A lot of people have been asking me about my dryer. I've been getting a lot of comments about if I still like it, is it still working good? Because they, they read in the reviews on Amazon that some people complain that their dryer stopped working after a couple months. My dryer is going strong and I love it. And it, it works great. Here's who it's by. Go Pet Club. And I have it linked in my Amazon store. I love it. Dogs, a couple dogs don't love it. I love it. <laughs> it gets them dry super fast. I mean, I can feel the water 
uh, blowing off them when I blow dry them. So I love it. I've got these hooks here um, with a couple extra grooming loops that I had purchased in case this one breaks. I have some backups. Got my clippers hanging here so they're easy to grab when I'm grooming. And my table. And what else did I put? Oh, I put my favorite picture. It don't show their faces, but it's my favorite picture I've ever taken of them. It's Max on top, Marley with his tongue sticking out, and Mozzie on the bottom. We did have Miggy at the time, but he wasn't over there. So I didn't have four schnauzer noses sticking out of the fence. But I love this picture, and I framed it. And of course, many of you probably have the photo because I sold them when I needed to raise money for Marley to get his um, dental done. So, yes. If you guys want me to sell them again, let me know if there's any new people that would like a copy to frame and hang. Um, let me know. So, I'd be glad to sell them again if anybody wants them. Um, I hung up some shelves. So I have a bunch of my supplies here. My scissors, brushes, toenail stuff, my blades. Um misting water bottle. I love this thing. Get, you can get this at Sally Beauty Supply. It sprays out the perfect fine mist so when you're cleaning their or wetting down their beards when they're crazy and you got to comb them, it doesn't squirt right in their face. It just does a fine mist so it doesn't bug them and you can comb their beards out. And then I've got my frame up there that I still got to get a picture for. And a couple things up here. Um, and then my a uh, picture I just got I hung right here. So I still want to hang some photos of the boys. I want to print off some other pictures I like on these two walls and yeah so the grooming work room I keep wanting to say grooming worm. <laughs> the grooming room worked out great and the carpet wasn't an issue. I thought it was going to be um, for cleanup, but what I do usually is when I get the initial bulk of the hair off, it's usually on the table and I just take a garbage can and push the hair into it and then I shot back up the rest and then when I'm all done grooming, I do a thorough sweep and a clean on all the, in the, all the corners and everything. So yeah, worked out really well, except for Magnum's eyebrow mishap, you know, which I don't know where he is. He's probably by the back door because he keeps wanting to go out because it's nice out. And the dogs like having this bed in here too. I come in here and they'll be laying on it sleeping. So it's kind of a doggy bed too. Yeah. All right, guys. I just wanted to um, mention how my grooming room's going, how it worked out, um, tell you about his eyebrow mishap. It happens. So if you're starting out grooming your dog and you make a mistake, it happens. I mean but the hair will grow back. It will grow back fast and then you'll never know what happened. <laughs> so, okay guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.